Medis SMD sine wave inverter with APFC up to 3 kVA. Fully SMD design including the SMD MOSFET makes it light and compact. This is Medis sine wave inverter launched in 2005 and comparing that with the latest SMD sine wave inverter. You can also see the size comparison with a mobile phone. SMD PCB assembling is ideal for large quantities using pick and place. However, we also have the option for through hole PCB for smaller quantities. You can see all the components are surface mount, which makes assembling very easy with pick and place machine. It's uh, SMD MOSFETs, SMD buzzer, SMD capacitors, resistors. Since all the components used in this designer surface mount, the assembling will be very quick and easy. You can now see the full PCB is assembled including all the parts using automated pick and place assembly. By connecting a few wires, putting the PCB on an aluminium heatsink and connecting the DSP module, the card is ready. Let us connect the inverter to a battery and switch on. And 1500 watt bulb load which is 15 number of 100 watt bulbs. You can see when the bulbs are switched on, the output is steady. You can see the output voltage harmonics. It's only 0.4%. You can see the waveform for output voltage harmonic and output current harmonic distortion. We can see the inverter output power factor. You can see the power factor is 0.999. Now you can see short circuit at full load. The output current during short circuit, the inverter will not trip during short circuit. Fold back current limiting during short circuit. The current came down to 15 ampere from 55 ampere. Now let us see the charging. This is active power factor corrected charging. You can see the charging power factor is 0.987. Now let us compare the charging with an ordinary inverter in the market without APFC. When it is charging 30 ampere, Medi's SMD inverter is taking very less current from the mains. In ordinary inverters in the market, you can see there is a leakage from the mains to the battery. But in Medi's SMD sine wave inverter, when it is connected to the mains, you can see the battery side, there is no leakage. You can even touch the battery. There is no shock. Let us switch on the inverter and do a load test. Now the inverter is on, AC is on, 
you can see the high starting current from the AC in the ammeter. After that the current came down and now settled at the running current. And along with that let us add some bulb load. This is 1500 watt bulb load. Now the AC is on and the bulb load of 1500 watt is also added along with that. The total load on the inverter is 3000 watts. This is the graphics LCD that comes with the SMD sine wave inverter. You can see your company branding, logo, you can see the time, RTC is provided. Battery level, uh, lithium ion, lead acid, lithium polymer etc. You can see the warnings such as overload, overload, cutoff, short circuit, short circuit, cutoff, charging indication when the battery is charging, whether it is charging from solar, if you connect a solar charger. Here's how the fully assembled unit looks with the display. A mobile app is provided through which you can control and view all the parameters. You can use this to change the status of the unit or simply view the parameters in real time.